102.7, it's Kiss FM, Chewy Martinez, aquí, here, man, number one mix show in L.A., Saturday Night Party, with the amazing, amazing, I got an amazing person hanging out with me right now, uh, she's hey. from Toronto, she's from Toronto, uh, one of my favorite places on the planet, and hey. uh, yes, yes, Yesi Reyes, make some noise, baby, baby, how you doing? Well, I'm good, man, I'm good, I'm blessed. <laughs> Yo, I saw you, I saw you a couple of weeks ago uh, on stage at the Hollywood Palladium. Uh, my, the, the show was sold out, craziness. It was, the energy was on one million. Um, talk to me how it feels. It, it, it must be surreal, of course, to be on stage with so many of your fans and people who admire you and love you, singing your songs back to you and just interacting with you the way they were here in Hollywood, that must have been nuts, man. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. I've been crying so much from gratitude. Yeah, I'm at the point where I can like recall the venues in the cities and just seeing yeah. the size double every time I come back is yeah. is grace. You know, like God is good. Yeah. That's how I feel. it's crazy. Yeah. It it is crazy, man. You and you, of course, I know you work so hard, man. And knowing like the fans the interaction with the fans and them singing the songs back to you like i can only imagine how that feels as an artist it's crazy i love it <laughs> i love really? it yeah i love it i love it so yeah. much and it's uh it's now now it's because cool i could sit more in gratitude and sit more in presence because right. before it was more of a it was a really abstract experience before because I was still carrying so much with me and right. it, some songs were like difficult to play because it hurt. Mm. And, and sometimes like you'd like internally, internally it'd be a, internally it'd be right. like war because I'm fighting, I'm fighting my body's reaction to want to cry. If I'm trying to focus and I'm, I'm trying to like, you no, know, not, not let emotion take over. And just keep my throat okay so I can get through the song without breaking down. And then everyone else is in front of you just singing it back. And yeah. God is good because then you open your eyes. You, I end up crying anyway, but it just feels like one eye crying from pain and one eye crying from gratitude. And it's just, right. it's beautiful. But it's a very, it's a very surreal, abstract experience to feel those two truths so deeply at once. But now, because I feel like I'm in a better place. I am in a better place. Like I've been working on it mental health and my spiritual and everything and i just feel like my heart is lighter so i'm able to be more present and the tears that come out these days are much more uh that much more often they come from gratitude i'm i'm happy i'm happy to hear that i'm gonna clap it up for that <laughs> i'm gonna clap it up for that yes yeah, strong jay that's that's really that's really important we we got to dive into that a little bit more because i have to be completely transparent with you um, in the top of the year, the top of the year, which is 2022, I was going through a lot. Mm -hmm. I was going, I was going through some battles mentally myself and, you know, you're an entertainer. I'm on TV. I'm on the radio. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I kept it together. <laughs> you know, I don't know how I kept it together. Of course, I have a very, uh, I have an amazing family. I have a great support system. Like. How does Yessi Reyes get herself out of those dark places? Like, how do you do it, man? I also, I'm very lucky that I have an amazing support system. Yeah. Like, my, my family, my, my, I owe a lot to my mom and dad. See. Uh, um, and I know how often, I know how uncommon it is to, like, have, have one parent, let alone, like, be constant and be loving and and have strong conditional love but to have two that are like that i know i'm very lucky and i have that and I, they, they really help um but for me it happened in the beginning of 2020 wow. that i was screwed and uh i found this book called the power of now by a cartel and that shifted everything it it's like anybody in my life who i love i've gifted that book to. that's how okay. deeply it impacted and it, wow. um, yeah, the, 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 the thing that it just, it, it, um, it gifted me a better quality of life through the most basic thing, through something that's free. You know what I mean? Like the book, the book in, in the book selling for whatever 
people might pay for it isn't like you're getting it at discount considering how much it could affect your life you know right. and and it's presence just to, to cut it short to not be verbose it's presence i learned to be more present and presence mm-hmm. just puts everything into perspective like right now anything that i'm worried about is it killing me am i bleeding no am i emotional my emotions are hurting okay so then let's dive into my or my emotions are making me hurt so let's dive into your psyche and then you learn about thought self-help books in general i'd love and people can shit on them all they want but to me they've really helped i know some people don't love them they say oh well you get stuck in a process of consuming and consuming and consuming and then like and then perpetually healing but i don't think that that's the wrong thing either because the day that you're done growing is the day that you probably die that's, <laughs> that, you know? that part that part yeah so, and as and as, and as an artist and as an artist yes yeah, see how do you keep that balance man like how do you I, it's 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 tough <laughs> it's really tough balance what just balance the career the mental health and just oh. balancing all the craziness all the chaos that's around us <laughs> i had a hard time i had yeah. a really balancing it even now like i uh, i was oh well I was dating somebody for years and like, and they were very patient and they were very sweet. I never had a partner like that, but I came into the relationship very broken Mm -hmm. from passion, very broken. And then when I found that book, I shot from this end of the spectrum, which was like a struggling with self-love, struggling with healing, struggling with baggage from the past, struggling with all these things. And it just shifted everything that I shot to this side. And I shot to so focused. And this whole time, I, even when my baggage has been heavy, I've still always been like career, career, made time for career. But it was crazy because that always took precedence above my physical health, above my mental, above my spiritual, above a lot of things. And so now I was finally putting an effort on my physical, my spiritual and putting myself mm. first. But it's almost like I flew too close to the sun for me because I've wanted partnership. But because I was so, I, it was like an elastic. It just went, whoosh. I didn't even think about partnership. I was just so focused on me that I fucked up the balance and mm-hmm. I couldn't even be for somebody because I was just so engulfed a, in my own legacy, my own work, my own career and my own healing to the point that they had been patient enough and I couldn't wow. even, I hadn't even healed completely. I was just so like so much gusto and gung ho and wanting to move forward in other elements that I forgot. So I'm not the, I'm not the one to ask about balance. I'm still learning. <laughs> hey, man, like you said, we're all, we, we're constantly learning, right? We're constantly learning. And when we think we know everything, that's when I guess we, we are, we are not human, Humble. I guess. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Jesse, where are you currently at right now? I'm in my tour bus outside of the venue in Chicago. Chicago is Chicago cold? It's not. That's what's crazy. What? Yo, no it is so nice. I swear. I had like I have two layers and I had my jacket and I walked outside and I was like, oh, like I just dropped everything. <laughs> the sun's out. Love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. what do you love being on what do you love about being on tour? Like I imagine it's it's a great experience. It is. I love uh I it turns out I like routine, which is yeah. funny. I I'm I, I tend to be sporadic by nature. But um, but I like routine. So I like routine. so getting to the venue, like doing our sound check. Then if I get time for a workout, I do it after. Then if I have an off day, I make sure I find a hot yoga spot. It's nice. So I like I that. Love it. Can, can we talk about how how amazing hot yoga is? I did a class a very long time ago, and it changed my life. I gotta go back. Love it. I love yeah. it. <laughs> love yo, for it. people for for people who are listening to this right now, yo. Like, go experience a hot yoga class. It'll change your life, for real. Change your life. It'll change your life. And it makes you outside of just, like, physical benefits. Because the physical benefits are obvious. Like, you release so much toxins out of your body. And it's you yeah. work out your muscles and all these things. But mentally, it just it, it's a mental workout because you have to be disciplined. You know, you have mm-hmm. to have so much discipline not to leave the room. Also, like, not be ashamed or scared to try shit because experience right. and they're trying it like it really teaches you to be like no fuck shame fuck everybody else i'm focused on my mat and i'm here to do yes. what i came to do yeah yes yes i'm 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 sweaty i'm i'm a mess right now i got my gallon of water leave me alone yeah 
I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yo, next, yes, see, next time you're in LA, can you promise me and you, and uh, we'll go to a hot yoga class? You are you with it? Hundred and ten percent. Okay, awesome. Uh -huh. Y'all heard LA. Y'all yeah. heard it. Y'all heard it. She's going with me to a hot yoga class. I can't wait. That's going to be good. And then after, we'll get a bandeja paisa just for that balance. Just for that balance. Yep. <laughs> My girl, of course, she has a new album out now entitled Yesy. And uh, tell me, tell me why the self, the 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 self-titled album. You, you did you think like, yo, I, it's it, it's time, it's time to do this. Yo, honestly, the project was actually going to be called Self. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because I was because I'm I'm in a very self-reflective space where I'm yes. learning. Just I wouldn't say judge, but critique myself objectively to the point of like being vehemently committed to self-improvement, you know, and suspending yes. emotions wow. and, me and thoughts aren't me. I'm the observer and being able to be in that space left me feeling like this project's very analytical, self-analytical. So it's going to be self. And then because I feel like I'm in this new space of vulnerability, different space of vulnerability, because before I've been vulnerable with my pain, but right now I'm just being yeah. vulnerable in terms of openness that I haven't been before. Love it. So, how can I make it more intimate? And then my boy, Jeremiah Thomas, gave me a ring for my birthday. And I said, yes. He, and I was like, this makes this makes it more intimate. It's just like, it's still self-analytical, but it's more intimate. And so then, yes, he came to me. I love it. I love that. I love that. The, the album is amazing. I love the album. And seeing you, per, seeing you perform it live, it's just like, it was just like, ugh, it was like a moment for me. Because the al the album is the album is great, man. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna name some songs. I'm gonna name some songs from the album, and you just tell me the first thing, the a, a, a phrase or a word that comes to mind when I say the the title of the song. All right, you ready? Okay. okay. Forever. Mm, black. <laughs> Love mm, black. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mutual friend. Buckery. Mm. Hitting. Pardon? Hidden. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Good time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's hilarious. Great. That's great. <laughs> All right. Tito's. Tito's. A hangover. Oh, my God. Is that the drink of choice? Absolutely not. The drink oh of choice. Tito's okay. were what? Tito's were what though? No, no, always whiskey. Tito's just happened to be the flavor of the day. Okay, okay, but whiskey, whiskey's the the, the drink of choice. Yeah. Whiskey and yo, I went to I yo Yessie no side to throw a party. She had there was open bar, there was Popeyes there, there was chicken coleslaw. I was yo, that's the that's the funnest event I had been to in a very long time. So <laughs> I think I DM'd you too. I was like, yo, thank you for the chicken. <laughs> Bye. Bye. The, the Popeyes was hitting. The Popeyes was hitting. Where, where are you going? I know you're going to go to Europe in the in the new year. What's up with that? Yeah, globe trotting, man. Out here. Yeah. <laughs> the European leg. We're crossing yeah, the leg. <laughs> how does how does how does the, the shows in Canada or Europe compared to the shows here in the States? Is it kind of the same energy? Is it a little crazier in Europe? Like I've heard so many artists tell me different things. To me, it's it's very uh it's very interesting when you first experience it because anytime you go to somewhere that somewhere where English isn't the first language, it's yeah. a different but then once you realize that not having that doesn't mean a hindrance. You right. you understand that it's like an opportunity. So that it's it's almost like when people are like, oh, when you don't have sight, or if, you know, for anyone that's lost a sense, everything else gets heightened. It's almost yeah. like this moment for you to really experience how universal music can be because it's yeah. not even language. It's just about the moment and the feeling and the communication yes. and the connection. So it's that's what I find like super interesting and I had to learn that because in the first I was like huh then it was different and then I understood you know I understood mm -hmm. that I understood that that there needed to be a different sort of connection so it's cool yeah. it's I, I love that I love that what are you doing for the holidays my friend are we hanging out with mom and dad con la familia what are we doing probably probably okay. I'm 
the beach. I might I might bring the family to a beach somewhere. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Yo, I love your family, man. I think I'm I met I think I met, I met pop I met pops. Did I meet mom and dad at the BET Awards? I don't remember, but I met both of them. They were absolutely amazing. I, I beautiful, beautiful people. Like I could I could understand how such a, an, a brilliant human being like yourself, yes, he would come out of that because they're so gr- they're so great, man. They're truly amazing. Yeah, they're fucking great. They're great. Yeah, I love your family. They're they're amazing, and uh, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for spending some time with me here on the show. Mm-hmm. And we love you. I love you, man. I'm always rooting for you. Uh, thank you. You're, you're man, thank you. yeah, man. You're 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 amazing. You're an amazing talent. You're an amazing human being. And just keep being that beacon for so many people. You are a you are a beacon of love and hope and just for so many. And I just want to tell you thank you for that. Thanks, Julie. Mad love, man. Mad love. Be safe out there in Chicago and bring me back some pizza. Hell yeah. <laughs> I will. Have a good day. Te quiero mucho. Te quiero mucho. Hasta luego. Bye, mommy. Bye.